Hundreds of people who worked at the artificial intelligence startup OpenAI are threatening to leave the company after its CEO was unexpectedly fired on Friday. Then overnight, Microsoft announced it has hired Sam Altman to be the head of its AI research division. KTV's Ali Rasmus joins us now live with the details of this developing story. Ali? Yeah, a lot of changes overnight on the story about OpenAI, the artificial intelligence startup that created ChatGPT. It's now former CEO Sam Altman was fired fired on Friday. The company's president, Greg Brockman, quit in solidarity with him afterwards. And then both were hired by Microsoft early this morning, that announcement after midnight this morning. They're going to be leading a new artificial intelligence research division at the company. And now overnight, it appears many of OpenAI's researchers, engineers, and executives may be following Altman to this new role. Early this morning, we started seeing these posts on social media, reposting on X or Twitter the statement, quote, OpenAI is nothing without its people. The implication being if those people leave, OpenAI as a company wouldn't survive. Now, that was the first sign of some sort of mass exodus of workers in pro protest of Altman's firing. Now, according to Wired magazine, about 500 employees with OpenAI have this morning sent a letter to its board threatening to quit unless the OpenAI board resigns and reappoints Altman. Part of that letter reads, quote, the process through which you terminated Sam Altman and removed Greg Brockman from the board has jeopardized all of this work and undermined our mission and company. The letter goes on to say, your conduct has made it clear you do not have the competence to oversee OpenAI. Now, tech analysts say since OpenAI released ChatGPT about a year ago, it's become part of our daily lives, politics, and popular culture. In a lot of ways, just like people kind of believed in Steve Jobs over at Apple, people believe in Sam Altman. Now, just last week, Altman was touting the benefits of technology, artificial intelligence technology, at the Apex Summit here in San Francisco. So his firing was a big surprise to the tech industry on Friday, and it's still not entirely clear why he was fired. OpenAI's board on Friday only offered a very cryptic statement on their decision, accusing Altman of not being honest or transparent with them, but it didn't go into any specific example. So developments with this story. We'll continue to follow it throughout the morning. Dave and Pam, back to you. Okay.